It's progressing, obviously, according to Mike this morning, but are you ready for this moment if it's if it comes to you that he has to sit out a little bit longer? Uh, yes, I'm fully confident in my abilities and what I could uh, do for this team. Yeah. Is that what you were, I mean, is that what you had in mind? I mean, that's obviously what you have in mind growing up. It was, now that it's here, what do you think? Uh, you know, it's obviously, you know, a cool experience, but, you know, I can't let it, the moment be too big, you know, just go out there and play football like I've done for years. What has Coach Dunn been now you know, talking about ever since uh, Saturday? Uh, really just uh, execution, you know, execution and really uh, passion, you know, like show that you love playing football, even when things don't go your way, just have passion. Do so you guys think you can replicate the success you had against Arizona State on the road again? Oh, yes, of course. You know, uh, I'm fully confident in my teammates. And, you know, we didn't lose any uh, confidence, so yeah. Drops have been a little bit of an issue for you guys as a, as a unit, uncharacteristically. Is that something, that's obviously something you know to do to catch the ball. Is that something that you guys have had to work on a little bit more, I guess, over the last few weeks? Uh, yes, sir. You know, we're, we're always on the drugs. And the main thing is, like, we all know we can catch the ball. If we can catch the ball, we're going to be here. A lot of it's just, you know, focus. So really just focus in on the details, looking the ball the way in. After the game Saturday, was there any sort of a... Uh, the player meetings or anything, you know, to, to refocus and just kind of, because a lot of guys on Saturday were saying, you know, all of our goals are still ahead of us. You can still win the Big 12. You can still, you know, go have good conference. Was there any kind of like, you know, pl player mandate or player led uh, talks or anything the past couple of days? Yeah, so there wasn't any meetings. We were all in a group chat, like pretty much, I'm sorry, pretty much the whole team were in a group chat. So, you know, people were just sending messages in there, you know, keeping everyone's confident up and knowing that, you know, we still could very well go uh, win the Big 12 championship. We're 0 0 in conference. So. How do, you kind of, how do you kind of avoid the noise, you know, on social media or, or you know, from fans and stuff that, that, you know, might be doubting you or might be questioning, you know, the, the layout of this team? I just look at it as, like, you know, um, they don't really see what goes on on a daily basis. You know, I'm with this team, been with this team for, like, 24-7 since fall camp. So I know what really goes on, and you just got to ignore all that and just have trust in your players. Who kind of leads that conversation in the text group? A lot of it is, you know, Xavier Benson, Brendan Presley, Xavier Ross, Colin Oliver, you know, all those guys. Have you seen either any of the quarterbacks really kind of you know, taking control of things after the loss or, you know, kind of stepping up leadership-wise? Oh, I went and talked to all three of them, you know, making sure they're all in the good headspace. You know, they're all great leaders. I love every single one of them. So I was really just making sure that, you know, they didn't get down on themselves.